Hi there. Welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show. And this show is dedicated to all kinds of rock music, especially prog, which is the one that I most love. Today, though, we're going to be doing some synth pop. So I have this series of episodes that I do, and they're periodic. They don't come out any particular time. And it's called What's New? And basically what it is is Anytime new albums come out, I'm going to give a little talk about them. At least the ones I think I like or maybe something that people will like on this show. I'm going to do a kind of discussion about the album to try and give you some a little bit of information about what this album is about. Because I've listened to it now a couple times. And just basically so that if you're out there looking for new stuff, uh, you may see this. It's a new album that just came out and you may be interested in it so I'm going to give you my little bit of my my little my little spiel on it as they might say okay so today's spiel as we say uh, the group is called Lady Tron okay they're a synth pop band the album that we're going to be doing is called Times Arrow this album came out on January the 20th 2023 so not too long ago maybe about six weeks ago and I'm a little behind because I was going to do all this bunch of albums at the same time, but discovered that it would have been way too long of an episode and way too much. So we're just going to do these one at a time, one episode at a time. I'm hoping to catch up a little bit now because I've had a little more time the last few days. So we're going to do this one. Anyways, this album uh, was released on January 20th, as I said. Uh, it's about 41 minutes in length. That's actually fairly short for a modern day album, but perfect. It's within my wheelhouse. I like my album somewhere between 35 and 45 minutes. Two, a, a little less than that, and I feel like I'm, I'd like more. And if it's too, if it's more than 45 minutes, it starts to wane on me, and I start wanting to hurry it up a bit. So 45 minutes tends to be about the limit of my expansion here um, this is on the cooking vinyl um, lim cooking vinyl limited which is the label that this album is on okay so they have several albums but this is the most recent one which just came out about a month ago there are 10 tracks on this album and before we go any further I'll just let you know it's the members of the band are Helen Marney who does lead vocals and synthesizers um, Mira Ario, kind of like the pitcher's name, uh, vocals and synthesizers as well. Daniel Hunt, he does synthesizers, guitars, and vocals. And Ruben Wu, who also does synthesizers. So you basically you have four synthesized players here and one guitar player. So all of the tracks, all the drums and the bass and all that other stuff that's a little bit on here is all... Uh, basically drum synthesizers and bass synthesizers and stuff so if you like electronic music if you like synthesizer driven music if you like that kind of spacey kind of um, spacey kind of uh, easy listening to music you'll, you'll appreciate these guys I like this um, I, I like um, Tangerine Dream and so uh, this isn't as synth synthetic and as produced as um, Tangerine Dream, but it's pretty it's pretty close. It's it's really good that, for that kind of stuff. Most of the tracks I gave a six to. They're all pretty much the same. There's not a lot of difference in the music. Very synthetic, synthetic. Lots of synthesizers. Some catchy beats here and there. Some nice drum fills here and there. But of course, it's all synthetic. Uh, well, synthesizer driven. I shouldn't say synthetic. It sounds like it's not real, but it is real. And some, and and most of it is very poppy. It's very easy listening to music if you're just looking to relax and you just need something that's not too strenuous, not too heavy on the brain, but um, keeps you alert. This is not a bad album for that. Uh, so they had three singles on the album: "City of Angels," "Faces," and "Misery Remembers Me." which are coincidentally the first three tracks. Um, the first one, City of Angels, also is accompanied by a video, which is kind of a bit different, but 
um, interesting at nevertheless. So it's a very poppy, catchy beat. Some fairly heavy synthesizers here. And it's, it almost gives that feeling of being a bit new wave-ish. If you know what new wave is, the new wave period during the early 80s, this has that kind of synth pop feel to it. Um, the second song is almost identical. They're almost identical in, in beat and everything. There's not really much difference between the two. Um, I would say bass is a little bit more upbeat. The third song, Misery Remembers Me, I, it's a more robotic song. It has that kind of a robotic feel to it. Um, the vocals are very electronically synthesized, more than even the first couple tracks. But um, not one of my favorite tracks on the album. It's almost too far that way. I still like some emotion in my music. Um, the next one is The Flight of Angkor. This is more of a heavy keyboard sound uh, with, of course, synth synthesizer parts to it, but a, a little more keyboard driven than the other tr tracks. Uh, we Never Went Away, which is the next track, makes it very, very heavy synthesizers here. It's almost the whole song is that way. Then you got The Night, which is heavy, upbeat, kind of has a bit of a drum, the drum machine's getting a little bit of a workout here, and it has a kind of a bit of a heavy bass beat on it as well. So, um, yeah, and the, and the synthesizers, the... The vocals on this are the, the synthesizer voices, which are what's driving this whole album. Like they're all the voices are all the synthesizers are driven through all the vo vocals are driven through the synthesizer. This one's much deeper than the others, I think. Uh, I did like this track. Um, the next one is the Dreamers. This is more of a melodical song, very slow, very melodical, very heavy in synthesizers again and very heavy in synthesizer vocals as well. But uh, a more slowed down, it's not as upbeat, not as up-tempo as the other songs. Um, then you have Saragoza C, or Saragoza C. Um, very heavy synthesizers, uh, lots of little percussion noises here. I, I think they added to try and give you a little bit more to pay attention to and of some very rhythmatic um, noises overall. Yeah, so, and the vocal noises fit in here, but they're synthetic. So it's not really, not, there's not really a song going on here, like the, not really somebody singing, it's just vocal noises. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can explain that right. Just people making, uh, making sounds and feeding it through the synthesizer, I guess is the best way to put it. The next song is, um, I, I didn't care as much for that song or the next one, California, which is this. Basically the vocal part is just them repeating California in different uh, synthetic text, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, very rhythmic, multitudes of rhythmic noises here. Um, it starts out with a kind of a single vocal and then you get some backing vocals which add this kind of harmonic feel, synthesized harmonic feel to it, I guess. Not really crazy about this track either. Um, the last track I liked, uh, Time's Arrow, which is the title track of the album. Uh, this is a very heavy and dark, darker kind of song. Synth synthesizers are heavy at the beginning. Feels darker. There's more bass and more percussion used in this. Of course, it's synth synthesizer driven. And he does do a few little guitar bits, one kind of at the beginning. I think there's one kind of mid-range, just to break it up a bit. So this song is a little bit different than most of the rest of the tracks on the album. But overall, the whole overall feeling is very, very heavy synthesizers with kind of poppy, upbeat tempos to try and produce a kind of I guess it produces a state of kind of a, almost relaxation, but a positive relaxation. And so to me, it's almost a meditation album, but does have that kind of upbeat thing that keeps you feeling up level and not, it's not a dark, heavy synthesizer bit. It's very light, very poppy. Yeah, so I like this album quite a bit. Um, it's an album, if I seen it, I would get it. Um, this is a band that 
um, is new to me. I have not listened to any of their other stuff, but I think that um, once I get this album, I may go back and buy some of their other stuff. I don't think they're an overly popular band, like they're not as well known. And if you're not into um, synthesizer pop music, then this will not interest you in the slightest. But um, I've grown to like this kind of stuff a little bit. Sometimes when I'm reading, I really like this stuff. It puts me in a state of mind that's I can read but still feel like there's I'm relaxed, but at the same time, I like to have some kind of noise so it's not dead quiet. So there you go. Lady Tron and their album Time Zero from What's New. I hope you will uh, enjoy this and give the album a chance. Listen to it. See what you think. Tell me. Okay. Have a good one. Please like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. And we'll be back again with What's New with another album coming right up. Okay. Take care. Bye.